Hey guys, Portia here and football season is upon us. Today I'm going to be personalizing this glass mug for my big brother. I'm super excited to do it, so let's jump right in. We're gonna start off with some alcohol to clean the glass really well. We always wanna prepare our surfaces when we are going to add a decal of any kind. I'm using a towel here to help balance the um, mug so it doesn't roll all around when I'm applying my decals. So at the top, I wanted to apply some stripes and those stripes, I'm gonna just have them just go all around. I am going to eyeball this. I'm a big fan of eyeballing. Sometimes I'm great at it. Other times I suck but <laughs> right now so far so good right and i did make my um decals or rather my stencils yeah stencils let's go with that i did make my stencils in uh, design space using my cricut maker so i'm just using regular old uh, white vinyl uh, this is oracle and so you don't have to get like too fancy with that i already transferred it um, to my tape so that I can stick it on and all that good stuff. And again, um, just just like I said, I'm just eyeballing it, just making sure that um, it's pretty straight. So I'm not going for like perfection here, but um, I do want to make sure that it is uh, going on pretty well. And honestly, I am using the lines that I could see on uh, my mat that I'm using here, my cutting mat. Um, great thing that the mug is clear because it's I can, I can do that so that's a little uh, tip um, the the mat does help in, in cases of, of this all right had to straighten out that a a little bit we're all good there so now for the piece that makes it Dallas like I say my brother really loves this team he's been loving this team for years and like I say football season is is here right and so i'm like this is this would be the perfect gift for him he doesn't even know that like you know i know how to do all this stuff so i said that this would be something great to surprise him with now i'm gonna be honest i did take more time with the cowboy cowboys logo because it's so big and when you're using something big or you're placing something big like that it's very easy to see when it's all askew and not lined up correctly or anything like that so this one i really did take my time with before i pressed it into the glass All right, so just pressing it down. We totally don't want any air bubbles um, because we don't want the armor edge to be any place but except where we actually put it. So that's why I wanna make sure it's really down really, really good. All right, all right. So now we are going to go ahead and get our armor edge ready. I did lose my other glove. Don't, I, I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know what I did with it. But I went on ahead and I shook the product really, really well. And I'm applying it to the spaces uh, that are left out, which is our negative spaces to ensure that uh, those are the parts that are going to get etched, right? And like I say, um, this is a chemical. It is, I believe the word is caustic. So um, you, I should not have been working with this without both gloves on, but I was in a hurry in the midst of making this video. I couldn't find it, so I just wanted to go ahead. So again, be very, very careful. Also, I wanna let you guys know this, the, the Armor Etch does, does not smell great at all. So I do have on a face mask with this too. Um, those fumes, you just, you don't want to inhale that like uh it's no it's it's really gross so yeah you go ahead and you lay it on really 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 thick um the great thing i like about making the etched glass is this these type of pro projects don't take long at all but you end up with something wonderful um which is totally it's, it still amazes me how well this product works I'm thinking about um, doing something with it on acrylic. I haven't tried it on acrylic yet, but I totally want to. I haven't figured out like the design I want to use yet, but hopefully I'll have that video coming uh, to you guys. You know, my experience with the Armor Etch on acrylic, you know, in a few weeks. 
So now we're around to the name. And again, because this product is super thick, it is not sliding all around. So I'm not afraid to go ahead and put it everywhere I need it right now. All right, we are all good. And so because we don't have to throw uh, the excess in the garbage, all I'm doing is going all around and I'm going to just scrape the product off as much as I can and put it right back into the, um, the jar. That's it, you don't have to waste it. So a jar of this goes a long way. And the jar that I have is actually 10 ounces and I've used it quite a few times but I still have a lot of product left. And I wanna say, so the instructions are, are funny to me because it says only leave it on for 60 seconds. But I didn't trust that, I really didn't. So to be honest, I left mine on for about 10 minutes might have been a little bit more but um yeah i couldn't do the 60 second thing it just didn't seem like it would etch in well enough so i just went with my gut and left it on longer and i didn't break anything <laughs> i was definitely um happy with the results because as you're scraping the armor etch off you can feel where it has left its mark or um, it, it makes it gritty. It makes the glass gritty in that area and gives it a frosted look and you could totally feel that. All right, so I have washed the mug in warm water and at this point we are going to get rid of our stencil. So I'm just using my weeder here to get the um, extra vinyl off. I did press it on really, really well. I didn't want, like I said, any of the armor edge to get in those parts that, um, that uh, so I wanted those parts to be protected is what I'm trying to say. All right guys, so that is pretty much it. We go ahead and we continue to um, pull off that extra vinyl and you can see it's coming off fairly easily. I would say and the marks that I was expecting to be there are certainly there so it's like I'm, I'm, I'm super excited as this vinyl is coming off here and I did my line straight oh my god <laughs> like really but yeah that's all I have for you today um, any questions concerns emotional outbursts let me know if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe but until next time peace